Hey guys, and how about we play The Wolf Among Us? I'm Riz Crestar, and before we begin, I would like to say, um, I apologize. I tried a few times, but I cannot sound like Big B. It only ended up hurting my throat, and it was just awkward. Um, but thank you very much, Isaac Beaker, for supporting me on Patreon. It really does help me out. It really does mean a lot, and it's just very much appreciated. Um, but yes, this is The Wolf Among Us. This is my second time sitting down to record this. I really do like this game so far. I think that Big B is an awesome character. To recap briefly, some of the stuff that happened last time, even though it might show it here, um, it ended with we found out that Snow was murdered the same way that um, Faith was murdered and her head was left um, outside the apartments. And things are just, uh, it's not fantastic. The woodsman got away, but we were able to arrest Tweedledum. I don't know, one of the Tweedles. So we at least have some sort of, we have something that we can work with. But uh, Lawrence was dead, Prince Lawrence was dead, we basically got there um, a little too late to save him. I don't know if you could have saved him or if he just would have been alive longer. Um, I think comments told me, but I, I just can't remember. I read them, I just can't remember. Um, and we, we were able, though, to go help out Toad, find out that he was lying, and hopefully try to reassure him and TJ, his son. So, we'll see what happens next. From the next time, it looked like things got pretty intense, so go. You know, why bother wait? Now that I've briefly recapped some things, though again, it might do it right here. Smoke and mirrors, go. Oh, I've also read in the comments that this episode includes some nudity. So we'll see what Mr. happens. Toad. Do something, yep, Bigby. Here we go. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. It was pain. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. That's where we got the big decent wolf. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. And I was silent. <laughs> it's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? And that's where I meant to say something and then I didn't. Now he doesn't like me. Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this. I really don't like Crane Snow. right now. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said I guess they have different kinds of hats, don't they? I didn't notice that before. Thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the so first that's bloke a D. that can tell that's me something D. about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this poor that's apparently Grendel from Beowulf, which I've never yeah, seen right, read, so... No, things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. And then you had it a lot worse! You know? When we found her head? That's worse. It's, it's bad. I'm not laughing about it in the... You know what I mean. <laughs> in association with Vertigo from DC Entertainment and something else. Probably having to do with Warner Brothers, but I could be wrong. He's not taking that too well, is he? Mr. Wolf! Oh. Hello. That's not a pleasant picture. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Not great. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Do you? Really, I do. Oh. But I could use your cooperation.
She hasn't asked a question yet that I'm aware of, so I can't really... That's very helpful. Thank you. Well, did you want me to say something else? Like, F off? Or, I don't think you do? Or something else negative? Because that was all that was there. Like, the only other option was silence, right? <laughs> In, in that silence, I just took a drag. That's all. Is that normal? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... Wrong with you hear that? Oh, yeah. This is like in Firefly! Please. Please. Oh. I'm sorry. Just make it stop. Please. So, so did that only affect humans? Is that why Bigby's okay? Oh look! Have to go now. It's it's him. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. We'll see. They're not it's dead. It's just a memory then. wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. Oh. The whole station will forget the last twenty-four hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. That's convenient. Well, hurry up. Okay. Well. You might want to take the picture if you want them to forget, not to mention DNA on the cigarette and whatnot. Not that, like, if they forgot everything, they'd necessarily think, I should check the cigarette, but... Possibility, right? I mean, I imagine you could get prints. Could be wrong. But I don't think so. This doesn't make me like you, but if you're gonna change and become a better person, by all means, please do. You know, step at a time, right? <clears throat> Quiet. I'm polite. Thanks for the lift. Certainly. We, uh... Um, noticed that. We found good. Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? I guess yeah. we never got him back. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Well, there was the whole previous issue, you know. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. But that doesn't mean you need to rule them out entirely. I mean, yeah, both sides doesn't necessarily mean anything, but, you know, it's awfully coincidental. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Just wait for no, more options. I never get more homes than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow. I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. He'll remember Our that it's hard. Used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Happily ever after and everything. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I do hope he means this stuff. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. It's worth a shot, right? I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. To what, the Fable murders? Is it's that what this is? Murders in as many okay. Days. 
If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. So is that why you wouldn't let me detain Tweedle? Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Ooh. Hmm. Well, the plot thickens. I was gonna say that wasn't the That's basement. Now it's basement. Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. We don't like blue blood. Beard. We're blue beard. Just chatting with our new blue blood is a pony. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence. Whatever you say, Ichabod. Thanks. Hello, Big B. Hi, Tweedle. What answers, D? Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. Well, I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. And yeah, I, I might am, move in. Had to take a look around first. I am a little bit concerned sure about the whole killing not. Toad's Looks son right. thing, but except for this big hole in the wall, I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Even after oh, I was gonna say, even after we just didn't punch him. Just let me go, all right? I don't have. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just answer just questions, put that man. Away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Okay. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. You got detalking. I think that's positive. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Doing anything? Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No. I really hope that doesn't I'm come to bite Toad in the butt, though. My brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. But what? Oh. Yeah, there really wasn't much, was it? Can we move? You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would. I, I got can't him talking. Tell you where he is. I Last think time I saw good him, now. we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith. Look, I went to her apartment. Yes. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. It's about the donkey skin. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Are your lips sealed? You, strip, you, strip. you know, I really like spending... What is it now, Big B? I need to know what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. 
Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. She doesn't it like would that. help if I wasn't strapped to a chair. Fair enough. No, Bigby. This isn't going to work. I got to talk twice, supposedly. To those girls, to Snow White. <sighs> let me handle this. Come on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? In the brief time she I met her, yeah. Fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Who is? Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Talking. Yes. Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. And what did she trouble, steal? Bigby. I can't answer any more of your questions. I guess I'll look it's at moving along at an idle pace. It'll take as long. I don't know. It's just there. Oh, I'm saving that. Can I? Here, I'll offer it yeah. to you. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Cause I didn't think I'd light up right away. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's what I did. It's not as impressive twice in a row. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. Well, at least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. So There's no way beauty would associate beauty. with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest! Am I really? And not getting any answers from him this way. I've gotten plenty so of answers. Dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now. Are you enjoying yourself. You need to leave. <laughs> now. Oh. Q, 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 Q. And I'm ready for an eat. No, I don't need that. He hello. What? What's going on down here? I have a picture of your head. No. Confused, but okay. There have got to be some fables that can change their form, right? Some sort of. You know, changeling. So I imagine that the real snow is in fact dead, and that this snow is an imposter, because even if there is a changeling that could change their appearance, I don't think that they would retain an appearance change upon death, and so I figured that it would revert back. Therefore, the snow that we found dead would have to be the real snow. But this is all based upon speculation that there might be changeling things that, you know, all that. Well, we might have not have learned everything, but I feel like we did learn some pretty important things. And again, I do feel bad about talking about Toad's place, and I do kind of regret it, because now I'm really worried that something's gonna happen. But that seemed like the question where I could get the most answers, and so I went with it. So, you know, fingers crossed that nothing does happen, because I really don't want to put him, you know, him or his son in danger. What the hell was but... going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? No, but I have pressing questions here. Can I ask those first and then you can glare at me more? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He mm -hmm. said his son found a body. 
We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. That's not your job, Snow. Someone had to take care of it. This is weird. Don't know what to believe. Snow. What is it? I'd like to talk to TJ about what he saw. I thought you would. He's waiting upstairs. Oh. Okay then. Good. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. <laughs> I don't know yet. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Is that what it was? I mean, that's what it is, right? So. I don't even know if you're Snow. Next move. I don't know anymore. Maybe you should lie low for a while. Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for, then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. Well, then somebody who looked like he died, inside. so that was kind of thrown was out so the window. He freaked out last night. He wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Right. Okay, well, I may not know what's going on. I may not have full confidence that that is snow. And if it is, all sorts of other questions are opened up. May not be confident that TJ or Toad is safe after I talked to Tweedle the way I did. TJ's I don't like there. Bluebeard or Crane. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. We're gonna I, keep doing our job. I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. I want to talk to the mirror. I would want to talk to the mirror and have him look at snow and see if it looks at the snow that's in here. Because there could have been magics, of course, that manipulate the process so that she, even if she isn't snow, she appears to be snow even from a magical standpoint. Almost like a biological, but from magic. I don't know. Oh, that's enough. But... Uh, mirror, finish, cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? What were you looking at? I wasn't at? touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. We'll talk about this later. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? I mean, she does have the same kind of manner as... She at least treats TJ nicely. I was hoping that she would treat him a little more roughly just so I would be like, Aha! But no. It's okay. Are you... Okay. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. Noisy and feet. when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. Because humans... That's stuff. right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in... 
But but she didn't have her head on. That's a very bad thing to do when I swimming. Thought, I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Right. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. Yes. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Not perfect. Is there something but... else you want to say? <laughs> Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! <laughs> it's dangerous out there! If someone saw you! Toad, please. He's been through enough. We'll discuss this when we get out. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said stop laughing. And stop then I laughing. was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said... Stop laughing at me. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Did you hear anyone laughing? No. So they meant the woman then. <laughs> Sheriff. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. Hmm. I want to go home. <laughs> okay. You can go. <laughs> that would be rough. Poor little kid. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. I have to... Call us if you remember anything else. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. Yeah. You want to go look at the body now? I'd want to talk to the mirror first. In a minute. When you're ready. Hmm. Just, yeah, I still don't know about so many things that are happening right now. I also still hope it's safe yeah. to let them go home. I wish I could have. Hello, said Big B. Nice to see you. Likewise. You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme, and you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Yeah, that's... that's fair. Okay. I have more questions. I don't know why it booted me all the way back. Wait, no, I have other... there were other things, like, about Toad, and... That was stupid. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of... scum. Stupid little smirk. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. And he's drinking again. Well, that's helpful. If only he could, yeah, pull back the shot a little bit. Okay, I guess nothing else with the mirror. I still think it's stupid we couldn't have asked the other questions. Like, why not? But whatever. Um, might as well check this out again. See if there are other fables. You know, Grendel or the Tweedles. 
Um, Beauty and Beast. Like that. Always putting on a show for each other. Can we move on? And there's. <laughs> they look evil there with those white beady eyes. Um. 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 Yeah, unless I could change the page, I don't think there's anything new. Might as well look at this perfume. Where'd the. Oh, there it is. Let's look at these antacids. Antacids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. And now she's back. Does he even know yet? I don't know. Hmm, I feel like he's just gonna get angry when he learns. Because that's. He's kind of an angry person. Well, that's appropriate. Maybe if I look through them all again, I'll get to keep one. Again. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? Does, do you actually know the meaning of some of these then? I hope you can find what you're looking for. No, I'm not keeping any of those. Fair enough. In that case, let's go check out the perfume bottle. And then I guess we'll go talk to Snow and Buffkin. Snow's perfume. Yes? What about Snow's perfume? Alright, hey guys. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. What? What did you almost forget? Evidence? Come on. I guess that wasn't for us. Okay. Unless he's meeting us there. Possible. I don't know. So with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out. And I would love to have you guys. So, it's in the next hour for the next video. Until then, take care. Cue outro, go!